What's going on guys? I want to talk about the most optimal time to do your cardio when you're trying to get as shredded as possible, all right? You're trying to get leaner, but you don't want to lose any muscle mass. Well, there are a few mistakes that you want to avoid when you're doing your cardio. For example, first thing first, I see a lot of people starting with cardio. Let's say you're going to the gym and they get their cardio done before their lifting session. They'll do that 40 minutes of Stairmaster or 30 minutes of treadmill before hitting the weights. You don't want to do that because first of all, it's going to impact your performance at the gym. Your priority has to always be maintaining at least. Don't of course, we're not going to be gaining muscle mass if you're 10 weeks out, but at least maintaining that muscle mass that you've built the most possible. So you want to make sure that your priority is the weights. Your priority is still your performance at the gym. And doing that 30 to 40 minutes of cardio before will just deplete your muscle glycogen, drain you even more. If you're in a deficit, you're just not in a good state to do your workout afterwards. All right, so you never want to start with that 45 minute of Stairmaster before your workout, all right? Now, if ever you really prefer doing your cardio before, what you can do is doing that cardio first thing in the morning and then having a post-workout kind of little shake, post-cardio, post-cardio little meal. It can be uh, a quick source of digestion carbs like a banana or some cream of rice with a protein source just to fill up that muscle glycogen, feed your body a bit and make sure that you're replenishing those uh, muscle glycogen. You've got all the energy that you need to start uh, that session, all right? And be optimizing that training session. All right, that would be if ever you really want to do that cardio in the morning. For me, what I would prefer is getting your training session done and putting all that energy that you have on your training session, then having that post-workout shake with a little bit of carbs and your protein, replenish that muscle glycogen, lower your body stress a bit, and then you can either do your cardio right then or wait till the evening, all right? The most ideal case, I would say, is separating them as much as possible. So doing your training first thing in the morning and your cardio later in the evening. Or also doing your cardio first thing in the morning and your training later in the evening, just so you have enough meals in between. You have enough time to rest. You don't wanna be doing your cardio first. That's the worst thing, like I said, doing that 30 minute of cardio and then not even having a shake and hitting the weights after. You're just not doing yourself a favor, all right? If you don't have the time to separate them as much as possible, start with your training session, get that training session done, have a post-workout shake, have that uh, carbs, maybe a banana with your protein shake, cream of rice, protein shake, rice cakes, toast, protein shake, something fast to digest because you don't have a lot of time, and then hit your cardio, all right? Always make sure that between your training and your cardio, you have that post-workout shake, just because it's gonna lower your stress, all right? It's not gonna put you in a catabolic state as you're doing your cardio, it's gonna lower your stress, replenish that muscle glycogen, nourish your muscles, and help you start that recovery process as you're doing your cardio, all right? Now, what kind of cardio? High intensity, low intensity? If you have the time, I would strongly recommend you doing low intensity for a longer period of time. So doing more walks instead of doing that 30 minute high intensity, 140, uh, Heart rate 140 for 30 minutes. It's just gonna also impact your performance and drain your body. It's stressful on the body. I'd much rather you do a low intensity cardio for longer. If you're burning the same calories, do it for two hours. It's all right. Do more walks. Do more of those stuff that are not gonna drain you, that are not gonna deplete you, that are not gonna tire you as much, and that are not gonna impact your performance at the gym. All right, you always wanna think of that. All right, so number one, split them, cardio and training. Always have a post-workout shake if you can't split them right after your training and low intensity cardio for a longer time is always gonna be better on the long run than that high intensity, all right? Because you wanna also not overstress your body. You wanna take all of those in consideration, all right? The calories burnt is just the tip of the iceberg, but there's a lot more things going on. How much you're stressing your body, all right? Uh, the performance, your mindset, all of those things. How sustainable it is. Walking is sustainable. I just finished that video and I'm going for a little 10 minute walk. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing a lot more walking. 10 minute walk here and there instead of doing that one hour or 40 minutes of high intensity cardio. If you like that video, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a, a question down below and I'll answer it. See you soon.